Fishing with Roland Martin. You know, folks, we have a real convenient way of catching crappie, catching bluegills, catching any kind of panfish that we want to catch. That, that's a really neat deal, Roland. Here we were bass fishing, and it's cold, and they quit, and you just pull that out of the deal, and bang, we got fresh live bait. Well, explain what it is. Fisher's Choice is a product. It's, in this case, it's little wax worms. Look in there. These are preserved. They're, they were real. They were alive, but they're preserved now. And they're the perfect choice for many species of panfish. There's different, there's worms, there's there's other there's crickets, crickets there's, there's all kinds of things crawlers. to use. But for these crappie, it's a proven fact that they'll hit these little bitty worms. Now let's let's take one of these little 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 small worms. We call them little small wax worms. I'm just going to take this little wax worm. I'm going to put it right through the eye of that little number four Aberdeen hook. Come right around, and slide it up on the hook a little ways. This is eight pound test line, a little bitty BB shot, and about five or six feet up the line, a small float. Now, the beautiful thing about this prepared bait, I can put the lid on it, I can put it away for two or three days, and don't have to worry about it spoiling. I mean, it'll preserve, it, it's, yeah. you know, it keeps pretty good. But, hey, I've, I've had this in the boat for two months. Yeah, well, it's good for three years in the boat, and two weeks after you open it, if you keep it refrigerated. Huh? Yeah, I got him, if I can keep him out from under the boat. He likes the oh, shade son. down there, don't he? What you got, son? He's bigger than yours. It is. Boy. It is a big one. That, we that, are gonna that's, have hey, that's, some that's supper a nice tonight, my friend. That's don't a nice you come off of there, that's baby? That's a nice size bluegill. <laughs> that is a crappie and a half, son. Oh, I that's love it when hey, I, I can tell you what. Him. At the end of the day, you put yours on the right side, and I'll put mine on the left side, and we'll see who gets the biggest crappie. You know, usually when you're doing things like we'll this, have to watch him, it's folks. maybe like five, sure he's five not bucks my or something, side. <laughs> or, or uh, who buys dinner. In fact, who cooks the dinner? There's who two? scales and cleans the fish? That's, that's the price. There it is. I, I don't like cleaning fish, but <laughs> oh, you'll I, have to go. I'll, I'll go with you on that. If you beat me, then I'll clean okay. it. Okay. Oh, uh, those things are so pretty. They are. Nice. Well, you know, you've caught crappie. You, you ran a marina out in, uh, in, in Lake, Lake Truman, and you caught a lot of big Midwestern yeah. crappie as well. Caught them mainly on what, uh, minnows? Mostly minnows and jigs up there, but I'm going to tell you, I'm amazed. These little wax worms, boy, they just gobble they, them yeah, right down, don't up. they? Yeah. Well, let me put him. Now, you're going to take the left side, right? I'm taking the left side. You put yours on the right side. Walter, are you using one or two wax worms? Well, I'll tell you what. That crappie, these are good little worms. They don't come off very easy, so I've still got part of my original one on there, and I just put a second one on. I'm going to catch even a bigger crappie. Well, there's some of these are a little bigger than the others. Now, with the yeah, little don't be picking them out either. The bigger I'm ones are mine. I'm going to put. I'm going to put this one on. He'll do put anything to win, folks. He is. He is. He is trying some tricky stuff. So I'm going to. I'm going to try this. And you know, while we're at it, though, uh, Walt, we might try. I know the crickets, I know the bluegills bite the crickets good, but we might try those little red those little red worms too. Now that, look at that, now that's irresistible. Look, you can't see any of the hook now. I got the whole hook buried. That that might be good. That might be a good deal. Okay. But you know it's so convenient having having the uh, fish's choice in the boat because you know whether you plan on pan fishing or not, you got it available. You well, can just you know, go whenever you want. You Today's to go. perfect example. We came here to bass fish, and we've got a front. The bass fishing is really tough, and it's getting colder all day long. So, grab this, and we we'll still get supper. That's the good yeah, part. That's right. Oh, my bobber's down. My bobber's down. You got another oh, one? Oh, yeah, he's down. I got him. I tell you what, this is a good hole oh. out here. Oh, 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 son. You know what it is, though? I think it's the wax worm. Waxworm seems to be yeah, a better Yeah, you switched deal. back, didn't you? I switched back to the waxworm. Yeah, I did. Nice, oh, nice, man, nice that's crappie. another nice, another nice crop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Another nice crappie. A crappie, crappie. All right. He, he loved that little waxworm. My float's down. My float's down. Oh, 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 son. Oh, another big one. crappie. Oh, crappie, crappie, crappie. We found a bunch of crappie. See, that's that eight, nine foot water in here. Good crappie, good crappie. Oh, oh, now I got one bite. Hey, you got another one? You there got one he on? is. Oh, son. All right, look at this guy. Oh, man. <laughs> Who says you can't catch oh, man, fish I'll in the wintertime? Now you got a bigger one. 
Nice. You got a bigger one, I think. I don't know. Hey, what do you think? Here in South Florida, that's about the same size. Well, I'll tell you what, we have proven one thing. When it's a cold, windy day and the bass aren't doing a whole lot and you want to go ahead and catch some panfish, this is the way to do it. This We're is the good, good way. We're going to eat good, folks. So remember, the next time you have a few spare hours and you want to have some delicious pan fishing to try, try some prepared baits like the Timbuktu like we've used. Boy, yep. that's, that really works good. That stuff is neat. So, folks, we'll see you again next week. Hey, let's go cook these up. Well, you bet. I'm ready. Let's go. Judy, I think I'm going to share the secret with the audience. I'm going to take a little bobber, a little hook, and I'm going to put a special, special lure on this. Now, this is a fisher's choice, crickets in a can. Look at this. These are crickets. These are crickets. These are preserved crickets. And I'm going to put this on the hook. OK, this is the first, first step. The first thing I'm going to do, just put it right on the, on the hook like this. OK, that's one. That's one rod. OK, that's cool. That's for spotting the bed, putting it in there. Now, here's another deal. This is a little spinner harness. Look at this now. This is a little spinner harness that's very, very popular. And I'm going to take another worm. I'm going to take this super worm. It's, again, a Fisher's Choice product, one of the four. I'm going to take a super worm out, which are preserved worms. I'm going to cut it in half, just pull it in half. And I'm, I'm now going to put it on the hook. Okay, just thread it on the hook right there like this. Now, now this is to be cast into the beds. Now, the beautiful thing about all these Fisher Choice products is that I've opened them. They've been in the boat for months, and they're per perfectly preserved. Once I open them, they're good for two weeks. So it's just a, a, a very handy bait to have on hand for, for pan fishing. Okay, I'm ready. All right, Roland Dolan. i tell you what I got here. I got uh, super worms and crickets. What do you want? I, I'm... I don't know. Crickets? I'm just wondering. Worms. It's Let me try super worms. Super worms is yeah. what I was going to use. Oh. Well, I'll take the kick. I'll no, take the crickets. Here. You can try oh, the, 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 the super worms. <laughs> okay, I've taken the top off of this one. Look, I got these super worms already. And all I do, folks, is take that super worm out. And I'm going to have drive a little jig head. That, you that's all I'm going to do. Put it on a jig? I'm going to try it. I, I it maybe a regular hook. little hook would be better, but I'm just going to just come through there. And remember, this is actually at one time a real worm. I got one already. I put a regular hook on. Golly, what is that? That might be a bass. Oh, no, it's a big bluegill. It's a big, big bluegill. giant bluegill. Look at that. I, I got one. I, How see, high see deep what I you? did? I, I was probably about eight foot deep, maybe okay. 10. Okay, that's what I, 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 I got. I, Roland, I just put a regular hook on. I put okay. a regular hook on, and I put a split shot above it, and that's all I did. Okay. That's and then did. just tight oh, line. I got, it one. I got 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 one. Ha ha, crappie. It didn't take long, did it? I got a, I got a crappie. You got super. a crappie with a mealworm or a bluegill? No, I got a crappie. Well, put it in a live worm. Put it put in a live worm. We're going to eat fish tonight. We're going to have the girls clean them. That's the thing. That's right. The that girls are trying The girls are out Judy trying to are catch. In the other boat, and they're catching dinner, and so they're going to have to clean they're, the fish. They're, they're, they're catching dinner, cleaning dinner, okay, and no. cooking dinner all at the same time while Roland okay. and I work. That's right. Now, what, Roland and I work. I'm going to just show the audience how, how easy this is. I went eight feet, and watch this. I, okay, now watch this. It's so cool. I just took this jig, I put the super worm on the jig, like that, run it up the hook, just like that. Okay, now watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna count it down about eight feet. Okay, now eight feet is about that far. Okay, I'm just let it sink to the bottom. Just let it sink all the way down. I got oh, one. you got one? I got watch one. Watch this, I'm gonna get all the way down. All we're doing is just fishing right just, in this treetop. Just, one treetop, very first tree we came to. Okay. Oh, you, you got, got, you I got another, another big bluegill. bluegill. I got another big bluegill. Look at the size of that bluegill. Look at the size of that bluegill. Oh, that's a monster. Why don't we yeah. eat him? Man. Can they eat those? No, nah, we'll, we'll have plenty of crappie to eat. How, how, that how bluegill that? is 10 or 11 inches long. Look that's at a that. a huge bluegill. He is 10 or 11 inches long. Huge bluegill. Two crickets, two fish. I just missed one. I think he got my bait. Look at him pull. How big is he? Wow, he's got to be a good one. Is he right by the tree? Is he right by the tree? I just leave. I left it down there for quite a while, though. He came to it. Oh, that's a gigantic. Look at the size of that bluegill. That's really big. <laughs> look at that. That's really, really that big. That is yeah. huge. Oh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> you got that one? Yes, sir. Uh oh, he's around a bush. He's come loose. He came loose. He came loose. Look at that big old giant. See? These oh, are these fish. are brim and a half. There you go. They just there you they go. are so now you're, beautiful. Now you're cooking. I am telling you what, folks. Now you're cooking. Hey guys, I guess we ought to try different things to see what they bite the best. But I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with the nightcrawler. 
I think I'm going to try the wax worms or the super worms. Rusty, we got a couple other choices. We have the super worms, we have the crickets. I think I'll try the super worms. Okay, super worms. Rusty's going to try some super worms. Well, I, I may try the wax worm on. Get three different things Get going. Get something going. Yeah. Well, I'm all rigged up here now. Rusty, you said five to seven feet's pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and, and drop it down about five foot. It's pretty easy to rig up. I, I like to personally, I like to use, put more than one worm on the hook. Absolutely. On, this, on these little uh, night crawlers, they're kind of small. What I like to do is put two worms on the hook. I'll take this first one and, and hook it two or three times. Kind of let some little ends stick out. And I'll get a second one. And I'll do the same thing. A couple little deals. And that is a, a bluegill special. Okay. Do it right out. I have a little small amount of weight on it. This is six pound line, by the way. Got him. Got him. Way to go, son. Big one? Uh, he feels pretty good. Pretty big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. A Georgia giant. A Georgia giant. Okay. Cool deal. Fantastic. Yeah, he went after the wax worm. I had the wax worm on. Rusty, do you think, uh, is that what you call a really big one or what? So that's a, that's a good fish, but they do get a good bit bigger than that in this pond. So hopefully we'll get into some that maybe might even be an inch or two longer than that one. Good. Well, that's one. Fantastic. All, all the uh, Fisher's Choice products have Excita scent uh, as part of the ingredient. It's supposed to be really a big deal. What, just what is Excita scent? Well, we've done some research, and research shows that uh, you know the, the movement effect of, of live bait is a, is a key indicator for, for fish to strike, but that's only good as far as they can see the, see the insect. So we've added Excitoscent, which is an all-natural scent attractant. We use a blend of a lot of natural scents that are very strong, hold up in water, so we're able to draw the fish from a further distance than they can actually visually see the bait from. So it, it's real strong, works great. Fish will swim by a live insect to get to one of these in the same strike wow. zone. okay. You know, another benefit of these, Roland, is that uh, a lot of people find them less objectionable to deal with. Uh, not just the convenience, but the cleanliness. Uh, my wife, she's one uh, who doesn't like handling live bait. You know, having something crawl all over. And a lot of little kids don't like that. Uh, but uh, with these, it's much easier to get them to to bait well, you know, their hook. And, and you know, they don't have a bad smell. Oh, I mean, no. they're not. I mean, they're not. They're not nasty at all. No. I mean, That's they're just beautiful. you know. And your hands. Look, look at my hands. My hands are perfect. So, uh, and there's a gajillion of them. I mean, that's a lot of baits in there. The how, many in, how many three, are in there? 300. Over 300. 300. That's a lot. I'm telling you what, folks. This is the deal. This is the deal. Look at wow. the size of this guy. Boy, if you, don't, if you don't watch it, if you don't have your drag yeah. adjusted right on this size fish, you actually have to use a drag because it'll break your line. These guys can break your line. Another great big giant one. <laughs> They're really oh, quality fish. One. Quality fish. I'm trying to lift it up. Wow, Quality that's a nice fish. one. Just fat. But look how fat he is. That seems like a pound, but he's just fat as can be. I'm gonna sneak just, right in behind you. Yeah. Just a fat bluegill. Just a fat one. Luckily, we're not getting them deep. You know, I mean, not getting them down their throat. Where yeah. We can catch and release them good. You know. That's it. Big thing to handle them properly, properly, and that's a nice bluegill. <laughs> now, this seriously, this this is the deal. I don't know what it is. That wax worm is just outproducing everything else right now. It, but it I've is. seen the crickets do the same thing. Oh yeah, yeah. At times the crickets are, are the or the hot deal. Just depends on time of the year what they're going after. Now I'm just using a single little worm on there. And I'm just, it's just a little bitty hook. That's it. What a deal. <laughs>